Hello and welcome to the World's RV Show going on now at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. My name is Donnie O'Banion and I'm being joined by J.R. Huff, who is the regional sales manager for the Thor Motor Coach Ace, Windsport, and one of our most popular makes and models of motorhomes to be sold here at Motorhome Specialist, the Outlaw. JR, thanks so much for being here today. Our yes. family really appreciates it. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here and talk about our Outlaw product. You know, we are the number one builder of Outlaws, the pioneer in the industry that started the whole process. And we've been doing the Class A's now for some time. What you're gonna see today though, is where we've expanded it to our Class C lineup. We've added a 29 foot, Class C on a 450 chassis, and then also a Super C that you see behind us as well. That's that's awesome. We're really glad to see the uh, the additional new toy haulers to the lineup. The A's have been such a popular coach. Yes, it, it, so, the, the ways you can use these vehicles have been expanded so dramatically that we're really seeing a wide wide variety of people that are taking advantage of the garage space in the back and just different opportunities to use it in different ways. With the addition of the 29H, the new Class C that you were talking about, mm -hmm. it's only going to further that. I mean, obviously, by price point alone, sure. Um, you know, it's going to be the uh, most inexpensive toy hauler in the industry, right. um, motorized toy hauler uh, that's going to be available at this time. But what I'd like to talk more about today is obviously your new big Super C. I mean, this is going to be incredibly popular uh, because not only is it a toy hauler, but now they have a true diesel option, which is really just not. Uh, available in the industry right now uh, from not only a diesel engine, but now you have a diesel generator option uh, allowing people who want to do a lot of dry camping and are going to be going a lot of places that are motorcycling and things like that that are more remote areas. Uh, this is going to be a really, really popular addition to the Outlaw line. Well, it is. So. You know, nobody out there is really taking advantage of this F-550 front end and especially nobody out there is doing it with the toy hauler box behind it. Like you said, this really, really offers a lot of opportunities. Um, you know, the dry camping situation, like you said, with the diesel generator, but not only that, we now have a pow powerful 6.7 liter power stroke engine, 300 horsepower, 660 foot pounds of torque, and 10,000 pound towing capacity. That's so a big one. Now we give you basically a, a Class C on steroids, if you will, <laughs> that can compete with the big guys out there in those 40, 45 foot diesels and tow 10,000 pounds or more. Absolutely. Um, you know, th these trucks are just, they're animals and probably the best ride, best drive you'll ever see out there with this heavy duty chassis with the box behind it. Well, let's take a look at some of the feature benefits the Outlaw's got to offer. Well, sure, that sounds great. Starting right here in the front of the coach, you're gonna notice nice big chrome mirrors extend out quite a ways, give you great visibility down the side of the coach. We also do a one piece fiberglass cap, so your nose seams up here. We do well, that is nice. fiberglass running boards as well too to match, really ties it all in with the front bumper as you'll see as we walk around the front of the coach here in a little bit as well too. But everything up here in the front, Nice fabricated fiberglass, seamless cap, really makes a big difference, you know. Now, back in the olden days, you know, with all these seams around these class C's, that was no, always absolutely. the first place you got water in. So we've eliminated that issue now with the one piece molded front cap. Coming down just a little bit further on our slide outs here, we have the Schwintech system. Now a lot of guys are using the Schwintech system, but we like to take it one step further. On the larger slides like these that we're using, we put a third track up there to give us extra support. This, this slide out's nice, it comes right in right out at four points, but that extra track does give it some more stability. We're using it pretty well across the board on everything that we're building right now. It's a lot better system than the old electric motor with the you know Teflon glides and the rams and everything else. These are a lot, lot easier should you ever have any issues in the future to be able to get them in as well too versus the old the old right. style. And the additional tracks are going to be on the much larger slides like you have on this particular floor that plan. That is correct. Full wall slides and you know these uh, these, these uh, longer slide out rooms like you have. And this is the 35? This is the 35 SG. SG, okay. Yes. Now obviously you're gonna have a tremendous amount of storage. Um, I believe the uh, diesel generator is located here. Diesel generator is located here. It's an own end 6,000 watt diesel generator. Um, you know, it does come standard with the LP generator. You guys option yours in with the diesel here, which I believe right. is a smart move, especially in that dry camping situation where they're gonna get out there and wanna Absolutely. run for hours on end. The diesel generator is the only way to go. Sure. Uh, I agree. I agree. I think it's, uh, it's the way to bring the units in. And I really like the way you've got your utilities bay designed. You know, yes. with the, the uh, suicide style door here. It's nice. It really opens it up wide, gives you a lot of space to work with. T handles are nice and easy to get to. Color coordinator for your gray tank, your black tank. You know, something we do different as well, too. All of our dump valves here swivel up, you know. Okay. A lot of guys think, well, that's kind of weird. Well, if you think about it, when you're done doing 
the dumping situation here, you want to turn that thing up so nothing else will drip down in your compartment. That's a really smart idea. And, and also, you know, I really like where you guys mounted your exterior shower. Yeah, you know, that's a great point to, uh, to make there, Donnie. A lot of guys will go ahead and throw it down there where the water connections are. It's a lot less expensive to do it that way. Right. But a lot less convenient for the customer as well, too. By getting it up here, you have easy access to it. You have hot and cold water. You can bring your nozzle out, really do whatever you want with it, and not be constricted under the slide out. Absolutely. It's great to wash the dogs. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's, it's close here, you know, to where you can wash out your bay if you sure wanted you to. But, I mean, you know, the kids. That's exactly it. You know, they're out yeah. riding their dirt bikes all day or whatever it is. You know, you can line them all up out here and just hose them off. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Get the shoes clean before That's you go right. outside. That's exactly right. Um, you're going to have a, a large uh, Atwood water heater. Correct? You do. It's best in its class. It's an 18 gallon recovery rate per hour, which is best in class. So that's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. That's what it's all now, about. Are these gas and electric elements? Gas and electric both. That's great. The paint scheme itself, you know, being the same as the class A gas rigs, as far as the color and the schemes itself. Not, the, not only that, the we also use the same paint, though, for both of them as well, too, which I think is where you were going there. Right. You know, we don't cut corners on the C class versus the A class you know, diesels versus A-class, whatever it may be, all of our coaches are painted the exact same way in the exact same shop with a paint that's called Sickens Paint. Really a high dollar paint. You know, the key there though is the paint itself doesn't actually ever harden and cure 100%. Everybody knows these RVs, you know, have a lot of torsional rigidity going down the road. They do this. Over wow. time on your used coaches and the other paint that was being used in the past, after three or four years, you start seeing spider cracks. Things will start, you know, imperfections will start coming up out of the paint. Right. With the Sickens paint, you won't see that. It never really hardens all the way. It's a big deal. It is. It's a big you know, deal. It's a very expensive that, paint. But. It's a very expensive paint, but you know, you got to protect, protect the longevity of your investment. Uh, you know, this is definitely an investment. It's, it's not inexpensive by any means, and it's like buying a home. So we want to give you the best quality products and really protect your investment. You know, and to complement the paint, we've also added the frameless windows, which really give it a nice automotive type appearance, if you will, and really cleans up the exterior of the vehicle. Well, why don't we take a look at the front end and, of course, the passenger side of the coach. Sounds great. You know, Donnie, coming around the front here, I really w just want you to kind of take notice to, to just the grill. I mean, Ford did an excellent job with the new beefy look of this, of this grill. It really sets the vehicle That's apart. awesome. It really does. You know, just the whole front end of this coach is beautiful. We do, a, again, a, a fiberglass bumper that we fabricate at Thor to tie it all in with the running boards and just really finish it out in the front. And it's beautiful. What an awesome look. Starting right here, just beyond the cab, we do side view cameras mounted right here on both sides, and of course the rear view camera in the back that we'll talk about when we get there. Okay. Real, real handy though for the consumer driving down the highway. They flip that turn signal on, it shows them down the side of the coach, virtually eliminates all blind spots. Really, really good safety feature. It's a big deal. And a lot of people are actually using them for security purposes as well. They really are. You know, a lot of people don't think about that, but that monitor can be turned on without the ignition key being turned on. Right. You walk up to that screen, you know, a lot of our RVers, they like to go to Walmart, stay the night, or sure. somewhere on the road right traveling. They can walk up and actually touch that monitor, turn this camera, the other camera, or the back camera on, and see all the way around their coach and see what's going on at night. Right, and they're infrared, of course, and so even are. at nighttime, it's not like you have to turn any lights on to exactly. be able to see anybody at around nighttime, the coach. It it's looks a nice, like day. really yeah. Great, great feature. Exactly. Um, I really like how also you've got a lot of side swing baggage doors, um, you know, on the coach, uh, you know, including the access panel here to your fresh water tank. Yep, exactly. You know, you'll notice here too, everything is up in the compartments, finished out, not exposed to the elements. Absolutely. Uh, as well as the water pump right there out of the house, not, you know, mounted to a cabinet where it's going to vibrate and cause noise inside. Easy to maintenance, easy to drain. And then of course, you've got... The thing's definitely got toys. Well, of course, you know, you've got to have your toys on, especially on a vehicle like this. You know, you've got two outside speakers here that are tied in with the stereo in the garage, which is actually a Bluetooth stereo too, which is really nice. You can take your phone, sync it up with your iTunes, Pandora, whatever you want to listen to, and it'll come right out here on these speakers, so. Oh, that's great. That I didn't know great. that y'all switched to that yet. Yep, we sure did. Um, and then of course, you've got the outside 32 inch TV. No man can be without his outside TV, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, the patio itself, I really like how put an exceptionally long awning you on know, this. It covers both of your entry doors, we obviously did. all of your entertainment package, but yeah. just gives you a huge patio area on this unit. It does. A 35-foot motorhome, we put a 20-foot awning on it. You know, it really, we're not counting the cab, of course, which is a lot of your space. So when you figure the house, the box, the majority of it does have awning coverage, which is important. And as I said before, of course, we've got two entry doors, one going into your living room uh, area inside the coach, 
Well, what of course separates the outlaw from everything else in the industry is the rear door that's going to take us into the garage. Wow. And of course, if your main patio isn't enough, <laughs> we give you a second that. one as well too, of course, you know, and that one's real neat. It's elevated off the ground, suspended by cables. So you're, you're up out of the elements if, when you're using this patio, should it, you know, have rain maybe that morning or something like that, you know, sure. you no still have feet on this patio. That's exactly right. Cover it with an awning for shade, you know, and, and you don't have to be worried about this patio either. This, this patio is rated at 1800 pounds the way it's set up right now. I don't know if you can put 1800 pounds of people out here. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. The integrated LED lights, but I mean, it just gives you so much more living space. You know, traditionally the garage was just the garage when you got there, it was wasted space. Now the addition of the sofas that make into a huge sleeping area yes. inside here. Yeah, both sofas lay down flat to make one big bed going all the way across, or really? you can use them the way they are now too. It's, it's very, very universal. Yeah, I mean, this, I mean, this just gives you a whole new experience just for tailgating. I mean, if you're not, you know, taking your toys with or anything else, but of course, once you've unloaded the bikes, you know, even if you are using it you know, for motocross and, and things like that, you know, once the bikes are out, you set this up. And I mean, you've just got camp for the, the entire time you're there. It's exactly right. You know, we have a lot of folks, too, that are using this as a second bedroom completely. Yes. You know, they get to the, where they're going. They take their toys out, their barbecues out, whatever they've got loaded back here. Then this becomes their bedroom. It has an independent air conditioning system as well as the one up in the front for the house. So, you, you know, you're cooled back here. You don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, very, very... Very nice and, and, and private, if you will. Really cool. Lots of lots of exterior storage. You've got uh, speakers here, and yes, and I you've guess, got uh, two speakers here that are also tied in with this stereo back here, which we touched on outside with those two speakers. Cool. This is the one we we talked about where you can Bluetooth your phone to it and play your Pandora, your iTunes, everything else. Uh, put a nice color TV back here as well too. Again, for it being used as a bedroom, if you will. Uh, and something else too, you know, for the toys you are taking, we give you a nice convenient j jump station, positive and negative right there. So if you, if you got your bike back here and it won't start, you can hook your cables up right here and jump off of that. So uh, what's the deal with the two doors? Well, the two doors here, you know, you've got your normal entrance into your front of the house, like always, but also here, you've got a nice convenient entrance into your bathroom. You know, should it be if you're using this as a bedroom, maybe you just met somebody that needed to use the restroom real quick, the kids running in and out, whatever the case may be, you have nice, easy access to the bathroom from the garage. That's really smart. You know, and no, Donnie, the, the bathroom here is very well laid out. You have a real big corner glass shower, real big medicine cabinet here with a lot of storage space. Right. A lot of elbow room, which is always important in these private baths. Sometimes you get in, they're, they're pretty small. This one is very sure. nice and spacious. And then, of course, you've also got your entrance here into the main house. That's really cool. And you know, Donnie, the kitchen area here is not lacking for space or beauty, just like the rest of the coach. Not at all. You take a look around here, you're going to see a very spacious, solid surface countertop area, nice double sink, high High faucets here makes it a lot easier to get those bigger pots and pans in there sure. you know, for cleaning and everything else. Um, we do also throw in the large 30 inch microwave there. And in addition to that, we also throw in the oven as well too, which is nice. A lot of folks, you know, they want the microwave and the oven. So Absolutely. we definitely put both pieces in there. A lot of storage drawers here. You know, we all always use a full extension metal ball bearing drawer glides on everything we build. Nice big storage area here under the sink as well, too. Sure. Nice big double door refrigerator there. And then, and of course... It's, it's, yeah, it's got a really good sized closet back here. Real big closet yeah. right there where you're standing as well, too. You know, you can hang a lot, a lot of clothes in there. There's also a couple big storage drawers down below. And again, of course, full metal ball bearing extension drawer glides. Yeah, and solid hardwood. All solid hardwood. Cabinet, uh, drawers and, and uh, cabinets as well. That's correct. Uh, the um, the pantry in this thing, you know, as far as the kitchen goes, I mean, I know you could use part of it for linens. I mean, it's so big. It is. Um, I tell you what, this has to be the biggest wow. pantry I think I've seen in a long time in a motorhome. Really? You know, you've just got, you've got tremendous amount of space there, like you said, to use it for anything you want, whether it be linens, groceries, both. It's big enough to do both yeah. if you wanted to, so. Yeah. You just don't, uh, you just don't see that kind of space utilized in a coach and especially in a toy hauler, you know, to where they're having to use so much space, obviously for the garage, but still to pull off a kitchen like this with this type of uh, storage exactly space, right. counter space, uh, it's really impressive. 
And, uh, you know, even there, it carries on throughout the uh, the entryway of the coach. It you know, does. Over here with that huge broom closet. And stuff it does. Coming got. right around the corner here, you've got another really large closet space right inside the door. You could hang jackets. You could do brooms. Yeah. You know, whatever you wanted to put in there. But just doesn't skimp for storage by any means. No, no. And then, you know, of course, you know, staying with the toy hauler theme, you know, with everything else. You know, we're talking about washing the muddy boots off. Yep. We but give you, you a know, spot down there to throw them. That's you right. Got it. Right inside the entry here, there by the steps is what we call our mud room. You can just kick off those dirty shoes or whatever you need to right there in that in that room and not even bring them into the house. You know, and, and one step further, we kind of talked about thinking outside the box with the, you know, the backup cameras and everything. Right. I have a lot of customers use that for a cat box area. You That's know, where the cat box goes. It's really easy for the can the animals to get in and out, but yet when they go to clean it, it's right there by the door. It goes right out. That's a great idea, actually. <laughs> you, know, you know, and also in this area here too is where you're going to have all your controls, uh, your tank readouts, water heater, on and off switches, you know, water right. pumps, slide extensions, all that kind of fun stuff. We've also put in a, a power station up here for any of your uh, cell phones or any, any of that kind of stuff that you need to take with you and charge and not tie up. The 12 volts up there in the dash we actually really gave cool. you a committed charging station back here it looks like four usb four usbs and we read, put a hole up here in the top so you can run your cables back through and have all your devices laying in here that way if it's like an ipad something like that you actually have a storage spot for it as well too. i was just i didn't see the hole up there i was like well that was a great idea but only <laughs> yep. they're supposed to hang down yep, but no. no we were one step ahead and that's great what that idea. hole there is for is to run them through and put them through in the cabinet that is a great idea really um, now this little thing right here this is this is something new. This is what we call our Rapid Camp Remote. This is probably the coolest thing that we've ever added to a lot of our product lines, including the Outlaw lineup. This little guy right here, you can run your jacks down, run your slides in and out, turn your lights on and off, run your awning in and out. You can basically just sit out there in your lawn chair and set up your motorhome all by remote. That is cool. That is really cool. Because, you know, besides, uh, you know, you said one of them in particular, because I've actually done it it was years ago but i actually put a slide room out one time into a tree limb <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, we've no. all been there and we've all done it now yeah. with this guy you can actually walk outside and watch your slides coming out and make sure there's no obstacles in the way yeah it's just Same thing easy to jacks. not think about after seven eight hours of driving you just get there and you just start pushing buttons exactly right yeah and i was sick but that that's really <laughs> a great idea i mean it's not just that it's cool but there's a lot of practical purposes there really that. Is. you're leveling jacks you have to look underneath that's right make sure there's no stones or you're not fixing to stick it down in a mud or you know who knows what you know yeah. actually be able to inspect the coach while you're operating your slides and things that's a that's a a great feature uh -huh. Besides, going to just really cool inside push. <laughs> <laughs> right below your remote control here is going to be a, your AC controls for your main AC in the house. You're going to have right. independent air conditioners we talked about a little bit in the back of the coach. You've got one for the house and one for the AC. Run completely independent. That way you can kind of zone control the, the right. cooling if you like as well too. Right. And I noticed that this actually has the soft touch vinyl ceiling. It does ceiling. have the soft touch vinyl ceilings. And probably another thing you're going to notice while looking up here, one of the most important changes we've made is we went to all <laughs> LED lighting. That's huge. It really changes wow. the entire lighting aspect of the whole coach. It really does. Well, you know, you've got so many benefits, not only just the bulbs not burning out all the time the way that they do, uh, but from a heat standpoint, uh, those other bulbs would emit so much heat. I mean, they, they literally get so hot if you leave them on for an extended period of time, they melt the plastic. Sure. Because I have to buy tons of them for our pre-owned models. Um, but, um, you know, obviously it will help cool the coach. And there's so much less drain on the battery. They are. While producing you know, better lighting all at the same time. So it's just a great add additive to the product. It, it really is. It was great to see Thor make the, make the move of the LEDs. You know, and look how comfortable this living room set up here. It's here, Donnie. You've got plush leather furniture with this big couch here. The dinette across from us here. Oh, yeah. You know, this couch here is a queen air bed sleeper, so it does give you additional sleeping space. So that's a true air mattress. It's not a jackknife? That is correct. It's a true air mattress with a quick inflate and deflate pump. So it's very easy setup. You know, setup, tear down is very, very easy. That's great. That really is. And I noticed that, I mean... Just from a style standpoint, it's really cool. All the two-tone two -tone leather really sets this off. You know, it does. It just, matches the decor perfect. It ties in yeah. with that the cool exterior paint. Just the whole thing as a package really complements itself well. The rolled backs and tons of seat belts. You tons know, of that's, seat belts. Now that's one of the chief complaints that we will get is you know lack of seat belts, especially here in the booth area. I notice that there's two across the way. Yep, you're going to have two behind you as well too, and you're going to have two more in the couch here. So you're going to have two, four, six, eight seat belts right here in the in just this little space 
And what's nice is too, when everybody's all buckled in going down the road, you're sitting here in what we like to call a conversation pit. The couch and the dinette are across from each other so you can talk just casually. And then of course you're gonna be right here by the by the driver and co-pilot as well too. So everybody can be involved going down the road. You know, and with the uh, seat belts, also the cup holders, I mean, this is a, a great place, you know, for people with younger kids, you know, obviously they're trying to keep them buckled in, be mindful of safety. Um, child seats, you know, having the, the seat belts not only on this side, but on this side, you can have a forward or rear facing child seat. You can. And in fact, on that side of the booth as well, too, we also do the child safety tethers. So the, the, the real small right. children that are in the seats, you, you've got that safety tether there as well, too. So to really get them in there safely and securely. That's a that's a really important um, uh, an option. One I put on uh, all the coaches. You put on you everything bring you bring in, yes, sir. Um, and the the little cup holders right here. You know, I wish uh, you, you see this in certain models. I, I don't know why they don't do it in all of them. I mean, it's you an RV. Have a cup I mean, but family oriented floor plans like these, especially, it's great to see y'all remember. I mean, just to <laughs> give the kids the cup holders so we can keep the uh, you know some of the cokes out of the floor at least. You know, I mean, but this is, you know, where they're coloring. I mean, they're playing their games, you right. know, I mean, they're, they're eating. I mean, this just changes the, the dynamic of, I mean, you're going down the road. I mean, I've taken trips myself and it's just like, you know, you don't think about it. And the kids are like, well, what do I do with my Cokes? I mean, you tap the brakes and they're gone, you know, that's right. Just, it's such a little thing, but I mean, uh, mom and dad certainly are going to appreciate these types of, uh, these types of little things that y'all are mindful of in, in your floor plans for sure. Yeah. You know, another thing you're going to notice here too in the living room is, is the abundance of storage. You know, we talked about it in the kitchen area. Right. We surely didn't stop there and we brought it all the way into the living room here. You're going to have four big ones above you there. You're going to have two huge ones above me here. You know, nice, again, hidden solid hinge. wood. It's hidden hinges, the whole nine yards. But the thing you can't see that probably makes it the most important factor, you know, Thor Industries likes to spend a lot of money where you don't see it. We talked about it outside with the paint and protecting your investment and the longevity and the lifetime of the unit. Everything you've seen in this coach, everything we've talked about from the refrigerator to the cabinets to everything, that, that dinette table, you name it. Every piece of this coach is actually screwed to a piece of steel backer that's vacuum bonded in those sidewalls. It's not just screwed to the wall board like a lot of the other guys are out there doing, you know, just screwing them in and going. We actually take the time, spend the extra money, put the material in the sidewall and give it a steel backer to screw to. Less shakes, less rattles, just, just again, better longevity out of the vehicle. That's a huge, and and that's uh, throughout the Thor Motor Coach that's line. Everything we build from a little 22 foot Class C all the way up to a 45 foot diesel, you name it. If it says Thor Industries on it, it's gonna have those steel backers in the sidewalls. That's a really impressive construction highlight, no doubt. Some of the other features, you know, I noticed that y'all just started doing recently is putting in these, uh, it's like, it's like a solar shade. They really you know, are. Instead of the old accordion, you know, the day night shades, they always, the strings always, strings got always broke. broke or they got flattened and squished up right. against the window. Those are very, very nice roller shades. You've got the daytime shade as well as a nighttime shade that'll pull down for privacy and just much more easier to operate. What's really cool about these two is, I mean, it's actually, uh, you know, it works like a solar screen mm -hmm. and it's a different level of, of privacy because, you know, you can still see out, but it's right. really difficult to see back in when they're looking up at these windows. It's almost like you have a different level of privacy. You know, again, sure. you don't have to kind of, uh, you know, shut the coach down, you know, where you, right. feel, where you, you know, during the daytime. In. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So it's a, it's a it's really cool a deal feature. and helps keep a lot of the heat out as well. It does, which down here in Texas is important. It sure is that. Sure is that. Uh, this, now the cab over sleeper up here, this, I guess being the super C is just because the cab is so much bigger it because is. this is uh, the, the, the overhead sleeper is so much uh, larger than the normal class C, you know, overhead. It sleeper. is from the whole design of it. If you look at the, just the way that it, that it cones in the front there, it just gives you so much more space, so much more height than, than your traditional class C front cab does. Right. So very, very large sleeping space. Nice big TV there, though, that does swivel out as well, too. So when you're sitting back here in the evening times, everybody can see it or yeah. put it flush up against the wall for whoever's laying in bed at night as well, too. <laughs> two more cup holders, I see. Uh, A little yeah, storage more. area up there. Two more cup holders. As you talked about, those cup holders are important. You know, and, and uh, this is really easy to get in and out of. Most of the, you know, traditional Class C's got to have a ladder to get up there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's so much larger, but then uh, I guess because, again, the cab, is designed so much differently in these F550s. I mean, this is uh, this is nothing to hop up into. It's really not. Because of the design of that cab, it really kind of recesses it down in here, giving you an easier access down into the cab 
as well as up into the bed both. So it was a win-win for us. You know, Donnie, you probably noticed while getting in, in here that this is a little bit different than your traditional Class C chassis, starting with, you know, leatherette front seats. A lot of times your Class Cs are going to be cloth. Well, especially in this type of product, you really got to think durable. So we've got the leatherette front seats, easy clean floor down here, you know, again, for that dirt and stuff you're going to more than likely be getting into. Sure, easy to keep it clean. While you're looking down there, though, there is something a little bit different that you're not noticing. There's no big dog house here like you normally find in a traditional class C. <laughs> That's you very see how true. much space we have for our knees and just, you know. That is very true. You don't feel as crammed up in here like you do in a traditional class C. Um, just a lot of more a lot more space. And, and of course, it's going to be appointed just like you'd expect it to be in a high-end pickup truck. You know, top of the line, of course, power door locks, power windows, easy access controls on the steering wheel here. Right. Integrated brake controller already. We talked about the 10,000-pound towing. The Fords are coming with integra integrated brake, brake controllers, so that's already at your disposal as well, too. And then, of course, being a Class C unit over a Class A, you know, these are the only things that are going to uh, have, have dual airbags. airbags. Yep, you'll actually have dual yeah, airbags yeah. on both sides. Right. You know, a lot of your a lot of your motorhomes nowadays obviously don't offer that, so it's definitely a big safety feature as well, too. Sure, in a, in a Class C model. In a Class C model, exactly. Yep. All right, and you're, down here you're going to notice a switch that says front and rear. That's going to switch between your front and rear fuel tanks. Okay. This vehicle comes standard from Ford with a 28-gallon tank. We at Thor add an additional 40-gallon tank as well to it, giving you a total of 68 gallons before you have to worry about stopping and refueling. Wow. And it's as simple as that's, just switching between those two tanks right there. That's huge. It is big. Really? You know, we didn't want the customer to be limited to 28 gallons, so we definitely felt the 68 was a huge benefit for sure. And then, of course, up here, last but not least, you've got your touchscreen operated radio system. Uh, it's navigation ready. It's satellite radio ready. It's Bluetooth, again, for your Pandora, your iTunes, whatever you want to run through it. And that's also going to be your backup monitor and your side view monitors as well, too, as we talked about doubling as your security system. Really awesome. Really awesome. You guys did a great job on the coach. You know, we've had tons of success with our Class A models uh, for years now, and we're really excited with the Class C edition. Uh, just bring a whole new buyer and, uh, you know, a whole new application, of, you know, for this coach once again. It does. Know? This vehicle offers so much more that we weren't able to offer before with just our Class A lineup. That's really excited about this year and uh, what it's going to do for us. So, me too. Hey, thanks so much for taking some time to Thank you walk, for having me. walk us all through it. Uh, really a, a cool product. And, uh, and, you know, again, we're looking forward to selling it and appreciate you, you uh, taking the time away from your family to be down here with us. Not a problem. Thank you. And folks, if you have any additional questions about the Outlaw Super C, uh, or of course any of our Thor Motor Coaches available here at Motorhome Specialists, don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-335-6054, or you can visit us anytime online at mhsrv.com. Thank you very much for watching, and we all look forward to hearing from you soon. But before you buy a new Outlaw, or any other new motorhome for that matter, be sure to check the MSRP, or the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Unfortunately, other dealers prefer playing numbers games and price their new units at the full manufacturer's suggested retail price. Then they discount the MSRP a meager 10 to 15% or less, and many unsuspecting RV buyers end up paying too much for their new motorhome. They also use the heavily inflated price of the MSRP to over allow on trade-ins and trick other RV owners into thinking that they are getting more for their trade-in than they really are. Some dealers even alter the manufacturer's window stickers to reflect a higher price or remove the window sticker altogether and create their own version of retail pricing, even though this is against United States federal law. Without knowing the true manufacturer's suggested price, you cannot be sure of the true percentage discount you are receiving from the dealership. Always demand a copy of the MSRP and only do business with dealers who prominently display not only the MSRP, but an upfront percentage discounted sale price without having to ask for it. If you have any doubt about the MSRP, call the manufacturer. If you have any doubt about your sale price, call Motorhome Specialist. 
Thor Motor Coach's commitment to excellence in manufacturing has also recently been taken to new heights. Thor has implemented the Gold Star inspection process that requires every motorhome to pass a more than 200 point inspection and road test before leaving the factory. The final inspection process also includes a computer alignment and every unit is rain booth tested to detect any possible leak before shipping. You'll also enjoy the comfort in knowing that your new motorhome is part of Thor's Rapid Response Parts Program that overnight express ships parts when they are required for the use of the coach or present a safety concern. And I know you'll find Thor's new concierge connection to be a refreshing take on what true customer relations and factory support is supposed to be. For complete details on these incredible new programs from Thor Motor Coach, visit ThorMotorCoach.com. Motorhome Specialist is not only the number one volume selling motorhome dealer in the world, but also the number one Thor Motor Coach dealer in the world. Offering the most diverse selection of new and used motorhomes you'll find anywhere. With prices ranging from about $10,000 to over $2 million and every price point in between. At Motorhome Specialist, you'll never find our new motorhomes priced at MSRP. Instead, you'll find an upfront discounted sale price that you can easily compare with other products and dealerships across the country. No matter if you're veteran RVers or first time buyers, just looking for quality information and a dealership that will treat you fairly. Motorhome Specialist upfront pricing will take the games, gimmicks, and anxiety about paying too much out of the sales process. Because at Motorhome Specialist, we believe everyone deserves the same low price. It is this business principle that has allowed Motorhome Specialist to grow from being a small, pre-owned only dealership in 1999 to the industry leader, selling approximately 40% of all new motorhomes sold in Texas. We offer over 60 different models of new motorhomes from 10 of the most well-known manufacturers in the industry. Each are committed to producing quality products and offer something distinctly different in style and function. And Thor Motor Coach is no exception. Thor Industries was founded in 1980. In 1986, they were listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And in 2004, they were named to Forbes' prestigious Platinum 400 list of companies. They are the world's largest manufacturer of recreational vehicles and a major builder of the world's most recognized name in towable RVs. Thor's motorized divisions include two of the most popular names in recreational vehicles, Four Winds International and Damon Motor Coach. Recently, Four Winds and Damon merged to become Thor Motor Coach, the number one retail selling motorhome manufacturer in North America, with an amazing lineup of 20 of the most well-known models of luxury motorhomes in the industry, with sizes and price points sure to fit most any RV lifestyle. So call 1-800-335-6054 or visit MHSRV.com for our upfront and everyday low sale price that has made us the number one volume selling dealership in the world. And take the family in style on your next big RV adventure in a Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist. Why pay more? Why settle for less? If you think that this is the right unit for you and your family, please contact a representative from Motorhome Specialist. We have easy financing with up to 20 year terms available and year round sale prices on our entire inventory. We sell RVs to people literally all over the world. If you're flying in, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you to your new RV. Each new RV goes through a rigorous service checklist twice before your arrival. Once here, you will be greeted by a service tech and shown how everything works and that everything is working properly on your new unit. You will also have an RV starter kit that includes a new water hose, sewer hose, chemicals, and much more. Thanks for watching our video. We all look forward to hearing from you soon.